everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hub for Tuesday, November the 12th. And I'm shuffling the Ascended Masters cards again and we're working this week on staying connected, raising our vibration, keeping at the front of our awareness the consciousness of the path that we're currently on in our evolution, in humanity's evolution, in humanity's ascension, and making sure that we shore up our faith in our intentions, regardless of what the current reality presents. And really just ways of doing that, ways of staying on the path, and also feeling the energies that the universe is presenting us with this week uh, with the cards. So the Ascended Masters cards just seem like a great deck. And I I'm using them again today. Right, so we've got ocean and we've got drink more water. So it's gonna be really, really important today, once again, to stay hydrated. And I just want to add to that, that in terms of ascension, in terms of staying connected, in, in terms of raising our vibration, it's, the answers are obvious. It's obvious that the more we drink water, the more we connect with the rhythms of the universe, of the earth as well, because water is imbued with everything. It's imbued with consciousness. It absorbs consciousness so easily. So the water that we're drinking is in tune with the planet and the planet's messages and the planet's frequencies at this time. So every time we drink water, we take in new consciousness, we evolve a little bit more. And I know that sounds extreme but it really is very powerful and I'm going to mention Dr. Emoto again I can't believe it I always mention Dr. Emoto when a water card comes up nearly always anyway especially in connection with ascension because if water is imbued with consciousness then we can choose which consciousness to imbue our water with and we can also become more aware that every time we take in more water and we become more able to connect we are obviously watering our own ascension process we are adding to that so it's really a lot more important than we realize it's not just a physio physiological need and a physical need to stay hydrated it's also a very powerful spiritual need i always find my guides will come closer the messages will become clearer more accurate and more powerful when I'm really, really hydrated. Because there's something about doing psychic work and spiritual work that can burn up a lot of psychic energy and therefore dehydrate you very easily. And what will happen is sometimes I've found that my guides will back off a little bit if I haven't had enough water and they'll come really, really close if I'm really, really hydrated. And it also heightens my own intuitive sense and my ability to tune in as well. So the more water I drink, the better my ability to connect becomes, my channeling, my readings, my writing, all of that. So today, whatever it is you're doing, if you're feeling blocked at all, I would say drink a lot of water and imbue that water with love before you drink it and uh, find your own way to do that, to bless your water, whether you pray over it, whether you write words and stick them on your bottle, or um, whether you ask Archangel Michael or the Christ Spirit to come into your water and then drink, 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 drink. So for Tuesday, I'm gonna pick one more card to go with drink more water. And it says, be willing to forgive. Be willing to forgive is very important because when we talk about taking new consciousness into the body, we have to be ready to let go and release the old consciousness. So that's what I feel this card is related to in this context, in connection with what's come before. So the message for Tuesday in terms of its ascension is definitely take in new consciousness, stay hydrated, allow water to raise your frequency and be willing to let go of the old frequency. So that's it for today everyone. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.